All right, top story tonight, the Bibb County Sheriff's Office says they are investigating after multiple reports of debris being thrown at cars on the highway. Kayla Solomon has more. On Monday night, Nathan and Jessa Fisher say they were driving on Interstate 75 when something flew into their windshield from above. Two two by fours hit our front windshield and uh, there was someone up on top of the side construction wall throwing debris off. Just after 9 p.m. on Monday, Nathan Fisher says he and his wife were heading home to Houston County when their car was hit. I just eased on the brakes and rode over against the wall and put the flashers on. Wife Jessa Fisher says she immediately called 911, but was only told by dispatch that they were aware of the situation. While we were sitting on the side of the road calling 911, we witnessed other people also get hit and have to pull over in the middle of the interstate in the dark. The Fishers say they were told to drive home with their windshield cracked and file a report on Tuesday. 21-year-old Cameron Battle says the same thing happened to him hours later. I threw my hand, my arm over my face as quick as I could before, you know, I could get glass or anything in my eyes. But I did it just in the nick of time and it was just like a, a loud bang. So I heard the bang. I looked over the, the passenger side was busted up. My side was busted. Battle says he also had an object thrown at his car around 1145 on Monday night. He says he then pulled over and called the sheriff's office and he's just thankful he didn't get hurt. Right here next to that, next to that wall. So it could have went, I could have hit that wall or I could have swerved and hit them. So luckily I just, I, I didn't panic. So I just, I just drove off the, off the heart of my exit. I just swerved off as quick as I could. The Bibb Sheriff's Office says they're looking for at least two people involved. In Macon, Kayla Solomon, 13 WMAZ News. Sheriff's Office asking for anyone who may know of a group of people or who may have seen them to report it by calling 478-751-7500.